Hey, what's up everyone? Kobanamani456 here today, continuing my playthrough on Super Mario Sunshine for the Nintendo GameCube. So, last time we went to Pianta Village and completed that world, and now we're going to continue on and do the finale of this playthrough and go straight to Corona Mountain. So that is the final area that we'll be going to in this episode. As you all can see, um, Delfino Plaza has been flooded in because of Shadow Mario and Bowser. So we're going to go to Corona Mountain, um, crash their party, and, uh, you know, basically set things straight. But uh, if you all are ex enjoying uh, this playthrough and are excited about seeing the finale of this playthrough, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button. Let's see if we can get 3,000 likes for the finale. I think that'd be really, really awesome. And uh, I can't thank you all enough for all the support that you all have already shown for this playthrough. And uh, for question of the day, um, this is kind of, uh, I guess, not really relating to uh, Super Mario Sunshine again. I'll probably ask some more questions relating to that in a second. But let me know in the comments below, would you all like to see me do a playthrough of Mario Kart 7, the 150cc cups, before Mario Kart 8 comes out. Mario Kart 8 is coming out in just about 15 days, so I can uh, I can pretty much get Mario Kart 7 done um, just in time for that. So let me know in the comments below if you all would like to see a playthrough of that. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and hop into Corona Mountain. So yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments below for question of the day if I should do Mario Kart 7 or not. But here we are on the dreaded final stage in this game. Now, the reason why so many people hate this stage is because this place is full of instant death traps. As you all can see, those spikes right there that show up, those are pretty much instant death because you have the same animation as you do if you're getting burned, or you just basically hop in place. So hop three times on the spikes and then you're instantly dead. And, oh god, I, I'm, I'm gonna have a lot of trouble here because I'm really, really bad with my spin jump, so... Oh god, what the heck? I'm trying to do a side flip right now, I don't know what's going on. Alright, there we go. Okay. GOD! OH MY GOD! See there? It's like, you just pucker your, pucker your booty hole all the time because you feel like you're about to just get freaking probed. It's that terrible. Oh god, okay. Alright. OH! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm scared, man. I'm so scared. Alright, I'm gonna just continue on from here. Alright, let's see. So, the shortest way would be to... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hop here. Okay, I'm gonna hop over this way. I think this is the safest way. It is the longer route, but it's definitely the safer way. And I'm trying to go through this. No death. Because we're a boss. Alright, here we go. Oh god! Oh god! No! <laughs> Wow! I talked too soon! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was so bad! I don't even know what happened there. That was so weird because... Okay, I grabbed onto the ledge, but I still died somehow. Like, that didn't make sense at all. <laughs> that was too funny though. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty funny. Alright, let's go ahead and jump. It's all about timing here, but, you know, just gotta concentrate as well. Let me know though in the comments below, have you had trouble with Corona Mountain in the past? Is it difficult for you or is it relatively easy? Alright, jump. Yeah, see right here, we gotta do this stuff early. Oh god, okay, no, my side jump didn't come out. Alright, one, two, three, okay. Perfect, 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 perfect. Alright, now I just need my side jump to come out here. Alright, here we go. One, two, three. Oh my god, what the heck is going on? Why is my side jump not coming out properly? But either way, we still made it, so... Alright, we're gonna wait for these layer of spikes to go down. Alright, one, two, three. Alright, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect! Made it through the first area, at least I hope we did. Alright. And yes, we did. All right. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to the worst part of the stage right here. And this is the little clay boat right here. As uh, you all can see, um, this boat has some really, really bad like physics and mechanics to it to where basically it's 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 really really hard to control this thing and go the direction you want to go because this thing just has a mind of its own pretty much by the way if you hit anything on this area here 
it will automatically fall apart and you will die. So be careful about that. See right there, I gotta t turn this thing this way so that I can just make it over here. Now if I can just twist it just a little bit there. Okay. Um, let's see here. No, that's a bit... Oh my god, why is this so hard, man? Okay. If I can just shoot in a straight line. Alright, alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh my god, I gotta go around this corner. No! Oh my god. Oh my god. Deliver us. Lord Jesus, help me! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Let's not die, shall we? Okay. Alright. Wow! No, 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 no. No. Okay. Let's see here which way. No, no, I need to turn this way. Okay, so if you want to change direction, it's best to get around the uh, tip of the boat there, and then you should be able to do it more easily. Okay, so I'm just going to change direction slightly here. Um, just one spray there. All right, now we should be able to push forward. Okay, but twist the boat there. All right. All right, screw that! <laughs> I made it! I made it! I made it! I made it! Alright. Yeah, you see all those blue coins right there? See, I'm not gonna do that because I'm not stupid. I don't care. I don't care about freaking shine sprites for the rest of it. I'm just trying to beat this game. So yeah, like I said before, this is not 100% or anything like that, so we're not doing that. Anyway, uh, yeah, might as well save and continue, I guess. Alright. So now that we went through the most difficult sections in this game, um, we're gonna go ahead and go up to the top of this area. So, uh, yeah, but for seriously though, for all the people who can't actually like go 100% with this game and get the blue coins, respect to you. <laughs> respect! Because that's hard. That is really, really hard. I know I'm joking, you know, I was joking around about, you know, like, oh, like, no, I'm not gonna do that or whatever, you know, I'm not stupid. But no, seriously, respect to whoever can actually do that because it is tough. I can't do it. Oh god, oh god, please don't tell me I died. Okay, good. <sighs> I was scared for a second. I was scared. Okay, what the heck is going on here? Alright, there we go. Now we gotta do this all over again. I don't know why, but I always have trouble on the clouds here. I have no idea why. Alright. There we go, nice. Okay, now we finally made it. Alright. All right, there we go. Okay, fourth line of clouds there. All right. So now all we gotta do is just get onto the final black cloud, and there we go. <laughs> the water's great, hey Junior. Sure is, Papa. Ugh, that's Come some nasty in. water. It looks more like mucus with that Nickelodeon goop. <laughs> Even she was looking at it weird. Disturb my family vacation. This is my swamp! <laughs> Alright, so it is time to face off against the final boss of Super Mario Sunshine, and it is Bowser himself. So, uh, yeah, this boss fight really isn't that difficult at all. All you gotta do is just basically um, do a ground pound straight onto these symbols right here, hit all six of them, and then you'll be able to defeat Bowser. So, all right, I'm about to die here. Oh my god, what the heck is going on? <laughs> I almost nearly died on one of the bosses that I was saying was really easy. But be careful because he'll toss out, um, he'll start breathing fire and try to hurt you. So you gotta be careful about that. Wait, anyway, go ahead and jump here. Here we go, Skadoosh! Atomic Butt Squatch, let's go! All right, if I can actually just get up here, that'd be great. Yeah, this um, boss fight has a lot of intense slowdown. It's like just too epic to even handle all the stuff that's going on on screen right here. Anyway, jump and do- oh, dang it, I messed up. Oh god! Oh god! I'm getting penetrated from the butt from those things! Oh my lord! <laughs> oh god, alright, and the green goop is hurting me again. No! Oh god! Oh god! Oh! That was a pucker right there, that's for sure. And once again, I'm nearly about to die. Yay! Alright. A fight that I was saying was really easy is turning out to be more difficult than I thought. Alright, there we go. 
Only one more. Only one more. Okay, God, it's slowing down so hard here. Okay, and he gets me again. God. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Last one, last one. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Here we go, and final hit! We did it! And there we go. Bowser has been defeated, and we have gotten the final shot. Oh, cutscene. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Just had to fall down gracefully while we fall straight into the sand. I'm getting Sonic Unleashed vibes. Oh, look at that! The Piantas are all rejoicing! <laughs> That's so freaking awesome! They're just doing the Harlem Shake! Junior, I've got something difficult to tell you about Princess Peach. I know, she's not really my mama. Someday, when I'm bigger, I wanna fight that Mario again. That's my boy. Well put, son. The Royal Koopaline is as strong as ever. But for now, let's just rest a while. Is Mario gonna get the smoochie? Oh. Flood! He lives! <laughs> yes! Alright, so that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for Super Mario Sunshine. So we rescued Princess Peach, we restored, re, we restored peace and harmony to Delfino Plaza, and Flood still lives on. So I gotta say, that was that was a pretty nice ending right there. But um, I don't know, sometimes I do kind of feel bad for I, I, I kind of feel bad for Bowser in that final scene because they kind of make it seem like Bowser all Bowser wants is just to be with Princess Peach it's like Mario and Bowser are like rivals for the princess's love and you know Peach just doesn't like Bowser because you know he's he's kind of like he's kind of like Shrek but instead of her turning into an ogre herself you know she just denies him you know Poor Bowser. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and give my opinions on this game overall, as that's what I usually do at the end of uh, my playthroughs during credits and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I, I pretty much did cover most of my opinions on this game. Um, and the first part of this playthrough, but I guess I'll go and do it again. Gotta say though, this is without a doubt one of my favorite 3D Mario adventures ever. Mostly because I grew up with this as a child, and then not only that, it, it's such a good game. It's so much fun to play around with Flood. I thought he really did add a lot to the gameplay, and uh, made platforming sections really, really fun. And uh, I, I just really liked all the missions and stuff. While I didn't 100% this game, and you know, I do kind of find that part of the game tedious, I still do like how there is a huge after game and there still is a lot of stuff to do um, in this game besides just beat the main story and then you're done. There's still a lot to do. And, oh, look at that! Piantissimo! With uh, the EGAD brush. 
Oh yeah, funny thing. Some people were actually telling me this um, in the previous part, I believe. Uh, Il Piantissimo is actually the running man from The Legend of Zelda. I believe Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask, one of those games. Or it could be a Link to the Past. I can't recall exactly. But he's he's basically a character from uh, a Zelda game because some people have hacked into the game and have seen that that's his actual face. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and enter into the game once again as there is one thing I did want to show you all. And uh, look at the Kamina statue. <laughs> <laughs> that is the great Kamina! But yeah, um, if you actually uh, come over this way in just a second, um, we're going to be able to actually get one of the shine sprites if you um, clean the shine sprite that is in the tower. And I thought I'd just go ahead and do this so that, you know, you all can see this. I think that's a great way to end off this episode as well by doing that. And uh, yeah, but... Um, you know, I, I don't know. I just really think Super Mario Sunshine is a really, really good game. Not as good as the Galaxy games, in my opinion, but I definitely think it is better than Super Mario 64. And uh, I gotta say, I hope they really do make a sequel for this game. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with that. And um, how would you like to see the uh, sequel of Super Mario Sunshine be? But I, I, I think it should be on the Wii U. I think that would be really cool to take advantage of the Wii U gamepad and like have Mario have like an entire arsenal of uh, different items. And wow! Freaking! Just had to fall right there. Just had to fall. Alright, let's do that atomic butt squash there. But, um, yeah, so, uh, this was so much fun to do. I really, really did enjoy this playthrough. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. Like, it was, it was so much fun to go through. And, uh, I have to definitely say, this was one of my favorite playthroughs I've done on my channel so far. Thanks to you all. And, uh, I hope you all enjoyed the questions of the day. If you all did, let me know in the comments below if you liked that as well. And if I should continue doing that for, um, future playthroughs. And then, um, I was trying to think of something else I wanted to say. Uh... Oh yeah, I mean, it, it was just like, there was so much interaction with this playthrough, and you know, I got to read so many people's comments, and while I couldn't respond to every single one of them, you know, I still tr did try to re read as many as possible, so, uh, you know, I, I, and it was a lot of fun to hear a lot of people's opinions, um, you know, about the questions that I asked, and about this game, and whatnot, it was, it was just a lot of fun, and um, I hope you all enjoyed this playthrough as much as I did, but anyway, here we go, three, two, one, skadoosh, and there you go. That is the Shine Sprite from the Delfino Plaza Tower. Alright, so we're done here. So I guess I'll go ahead and end off this video now. But uh, if y'all did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like in the comment. It really, really helps out a ton. Like I said, let's see if we can get this video 3,000 likes. And um, also, let me know if I should do a Mario Kart 7 playthrough next before Mario Kart 8 comes out. I'm going to be doing that very, very soon. And I hope y'all are excited for that playthrough as well. But anyway... That wraps it up for this playthrough and this video. So thank you all again for watching. See you all. Have a good day. Peace, Kobanamites.